Time for another top seven food item for your Redfoots. One that's not found in all parts of the country, but you should be able to find most of the year. If you live in the southern part, you'll really enjoy it. That one to my right, hibiscus flowers and leaves. Stick around and find out why. Hibiscus leaves and flowers. While I can't believe in the 16 years I've had and raised my Redfoots from hatchlings to adults, I don't have a single video or even photo of them eating hibiscus flowers or leaves. The two plants we've had for years finally got to looking so sad we tossed them this summer and I've been using friends plants as a food source lately and at this time of the year in North Texas, early November as I do this video, they aren't blooming so we'll just have to tell you about this food item and enjoy the picture and video instead of watching mine eat. Hibiscus species are found in tropical and subtropical regions as well as in temperate climates and they have a wide range of flower colors including red, pink, orange, yellow, violet, lavender, yellow, and even white. They do require a lot of light if you want to have your own and most hibiscus prefer to be planted where the temperatures range from 60 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit during most parts of the day. These plants are tougher than many other tropical and subtropical species and will usually survive quite low temperatures as long as that, that is not prolonged. You know, a cold night for instance can make the plant shed its leaves and buds but it will survive and eventually begin to form new leaves and buds. Now you can keep a hibiscus plant in areas where the temperatures drop below 50 degrees Fahrenheit but those hibiscuses will probably rarely flower. Now, the leaves and flowers are loaded with vitamins, minerals, including manganese, iron, copper, and fiber. They are generally high in calcium and have great calcium to phosphorus ratio, so they're a great food item for any tortoise. So there you have your top seven food items you should make the core of your redfoot and yellowfoot tortoise diet. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned things you can apply to your tortoises today. I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Thanks for watching this video on these truly unique tortoises. Now if you're interested in learning more about these wonderful animals or want to become an expert on redfoot or yellowfoot tortoises, you can because I've created a complete care and husbandry video course that has all aspects of their diet, indoor and outdoor pens, breeding, and their health covered for you. It's over an hour's worth of information distilled from my 16 plus years of working with Redfoots and I think you'll enjoy it and find the information valuable. Check out the link at the top right or below in the description and thanks again for your interest in these unique tortoises.